Hey guys, it's Ollie with Chaos Monkey, and I hope everyone is doing well. But as you can see, I got my Southern Skeins Sock Club for the month of July. I had to think which month it was. <laughs> I, it's July. And um, I'm kind of holding it this way because my, my address is over here, so I don't want to accidentally flash my address to the world. Um, well, there we go. We can hold it this way. Um, my box got a little smooshed, but that's fine. No big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and just open her up. I hope everybody's doing well. You know me, I get to the point <laughs> pretty quickly. Um, here we go. And this says... Oh, the, th the same sticker that's always on the top. And I was looking down here and back and forth. But this is... Oh, we're doing Americana. Which makes sense. July. So, too cool. Too cool for school. Let me see if I can get a little more light in there. My camera's been kind of weird. I rearranged my room, and I think that might have something to do with it. Plus, my camera is, is doing weird stuff as it gets older. Um, so, yeah, I won't read the whole thing, but let's just say it's kind of like a little summary of what the inspiration was. Um, so, let me see. I'll read... Uh, it's easy to see the familiar colors of Americana and assume they were simply inspired by the holiday, but it's more than that. It's the faded red on the side of a barn. It's the deep blue of the lake at twilight. It's the gossamer silver of the sky right overhead just before the sun comes up. And I'll leave it there because I'll keep reading. So that's kind of just a little summary of the inspiration. And super cool. I love Americana stuff. I love... All of that. I'm just kind of pulling this out so I don't accidentally flash a pattern. Okay, so the pattern's on the back. So I can show the front. So what we've got is from Chains to Pearls, Liberty and Needle Art, Stars and Stripes. This pattern was specifically designed for Southern Skeins July 2019 Sock Club. The reds, white, and blue colors just begged for patriotic pattern. Heck yeah. So I, you can kind of see in the black and white photo, but it's a really awesome um, shawl. So yay, okay. So let me see, this one's a crochet. And it's super cool, super cool. So I, I might make that, I don't know yet, who knows. I don't even know what I'm going to do half the time. So here we go, we've got it wrapped up with a little Southern Skeins sticker. Let's see if I can get in there without shredding everything. I like to try to use tissue paper for stuff. Let me move the box. Hope you guys can see. Okay, I might come down a little. There we go. Oh wow. Oh, that is pretty. This is... Um, I'm going to get some of this out of before I get off. This is like a, like a rustic denim blue reds. So it's not like in your face super bright colors. It's But it's got the red, white, and blue. But it's more of a silver gray, rustic, like she said, the old barn blue. I mean red, sorry. And then the blue is like, reminds me of jeans. But she said that deep, deep blue of the lake at twilight, which I could see probably right here. See, let me see if I can get this a little more true to color. Ooh, I don't want to blow out again. Mm, that's pretty close. It's a little brighter than it's showing. There we go. That's probably a lot closer. And the um, the name of it is America Americana. And her base is 75% merino, 25% nylon, which I love because that's like a perfect base for just about anything you want to make. So I really like that. So, and we're going to go ahead and show the extras. Oh, look at that. Oh, and tea. Love my tea. We've got blueberry super, f <laughs> blueberry super fruit tea, which I, I drink all the tea every month. And then there's a cute, cute little pouch. Got a little string on there. There we go. It looks like fireworks. Red, white, and blue. Maybe I'm holding it too close to the camera these days. Maybe it just doesn't like that anymore. And then a little snap. 
And these are these little plastic snaps, which I love. I need to get some of those for some of my knitted stuff. And what's in here? We've got... It says, Project Crafted Joy, Minnie's Notion Pouch. Oh, it's adorable. It's a little Notion Pouch. Let me see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So there's a little, oh, there's a little star punch. Look at that, look cute. And then what's in here? Oh my goodness, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Did I get it all? Okay. So not only do you get the adorable pouch, you get, what are these? I don't know what these are. I'm going to have to find out. I was going to say needle protectors, but um, I could be totally wrong on that. And then here's a little tapestry needle to sew in your ends and some little markers, uh, stitch markers. And then um, these guys, they look like they're different sizes. I'm not sure. Not sure what that is. If anybody knows, let me know or I'll figure it out as soon as I turn off the camera and then I'll be like, durr. Um, but it's like pieces of foam with holes in the middle. So, does she say? Huh. Maybe I'll look her up on Instagram because that's the only thing I can think of is like point protectors. Sorry, I was kind of holding them to me. They're kind of blowing the color balance. Let's bring that down a little bit because they are very bright yellow. So I'll just bring that down. But that's really, really cute. I love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, patriotic. And then we'll go ahead and undo the yarn so you guys can see all of the colors. So we're going to come up. And again, I don't know why, but my camera, after the last update, everything is darker. It shows up a little brighter in post, so if I keep apologizing how dark it is, it's because that's the way I'm seeing it, and it brightens up a little bit during editing, but it's still darker than it used to be um, since this I did a phone update, and it's kind of bothering me. I don't want to break the, because I want to be able to stick it back in here, see if I can pull it off, y'all. There we go, yay. Ooh, okay, I can see even more of the colors. It is so pretty, you guys. Okay, pulling it open. Of course, we get our little mini skein. The mini skein is in the red. I hope you can see some of the details. It's just like a real um, tonal red, not oversaturated. And then in the actual yarn, it's a more faded red with like splotches and speckles of the denim kind of lake blue. Oh wow, look like at that. So it's not, it's um, got a lot of the white showing through so it's not completely saturated so it's more of a, I want to say like a rustic feel, like old blue jeans and like she said the barn idea. So yeah, that's going to be really fun to work up. Um, and then the little skein is like a mix of the lighter, the whites, and the uh, darkers. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> so yeah, so that is Americana. And uh, i trying to show you the whole thing. Really nice, 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 nice. So I didn't make anything out of last month's. Um, I'm kind of falling behind. So I'm probably going to work on that one before this one. And this is my, I'm not going to be able to wind this up right now, but I kind of want to just put it there for, for maybe some photos. But, um, yeah, I, I haven't worked on the last month. Last month was a really cool shawl in the really bright oranges and yellows, um, which I loved. And so now we're coming down to the rustic red, white, and blues, and I really love that. So super fun. And the pattern looks really cool, too. It is kind of hard to see in the photo. But um, in person, you can definitely see it. So yay! 
Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so before I ramble too much, I'm going to go ahead and go, and I really like this a lot. And that's July's. So, alright you guys, I will um, talk to you later. Bye.